this is another video in which I'm, I would be sharing my experience implementing state management in Ionic Angular applications. So today I explored around one of the extension that is available with the ngrx library that is ngrx data that simplifies the implementation that we need to do uh, when adopting ngrx so this is this is really a cool thing available out there because in this uh, we just need to define the entity and for a, a really basic implementation it provides most of the things uh, th that that we need so like for example uh, in, in this particular documentation uh, it the example it gave uh, we, we just need to define an entity uh, through metadata then uh, uh, we need to register it and then we need to uh, define a basic service for it and we are able to perform basic operations without even implementing them and that too along with the effects if we want so if I Look, uh, look into the entity data service here it mentions that uh, uh, these basic crude operation services are already implemented and uh, if we want uh, f uh, to get this data or perform such operations it it hits uh, APIs uh, uh, based upon certain patterns so uh, those are basically the rest uh, based upon the rest specifications so, uh, so that this is a really uh, amazing feature from the NGRS library where uh, it reduces lots of boilerplate code and uh, so this was all uh, that that I studied today. Apart from that, I uh, okay. So other than this, uh, I I just gave the uh, the gist of uh, the things that, that I studied. There were uh, more things that I went through in detail. Other than that, I went through this uh, video uh, which was from ng my conference where uh, jia lee explained uh, the entire experience that they had while implementing uh, the uh, implementing with ngrx data and uh, some of the shortcomings that they uh, shared in this video uh, were like uh, uh, like error handling and then uh, one of them was uh, to change the uh, base URL or the URL pattern and the the one of the most crucial one uh, which uh, required lots of efforts from their side was uh, the pagination thing so initially they started with uh, ngrx data so that they don't have to uh, understand lots of and uh, understand uh, the developer don't have to understand the all the ngrx concepts and uh, they don't have to dive into the complexities of the boilerplate code uh, but later on uh, when they were stuck with the pagination uh, they have to understand the entire flow uh, and uh, 
they they need to do some custom uh, they need to understand the uh, source code of ngrx library and through which they were able to achieve the pagination so the uh, so uh, this video is really interesting and uh, they they tried to explain uh, it quite quite well how they were even they were uh, how they were able to achieve this so so, so this was all about today and uh, now i will proceed uh, with ng access library further so thank you